Oh, yeah. Uh, 172.6. Check. Okay. <laughs> Sound is on. Oh, it smells so good this morning. <clears throat> but it is raining outside. That's a good sign, though, because that means there's a high probability that the gym is going to be... Yeah, you're good. You're good. It's totally good. The gym is going to be less occupied than usual. What'd you weigh out to? 184. 184. <laughs> How are you? Man, 184. I'm like struggling just to get up there. <laughs> so my roommate has pretty long flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So his, his hair is pretty long. But he's, yeah, we're just joking right now that his hair adds 10 pounds to the, to the scale. That's hilarious. It's the density of it, right? The density, dude. <laughs> He's got some potent hair. <laughs> High protein hair right now. <laughs> I, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, even if it isn't, even if it isn't empty, it's totally fine. Because generally over the weekends, I noticed that people really don't like, or not don't like, but there's less people doing leg day over the weekends. My guess is because they have something to do or they want to function that day. <laughs> they got plans that night, right? Speaking of plans, I think there was a music festival last night. What was it called? Beyond Wonderland. EDM, Electronic Music Festival. <laughs> We're just saying there's probably people yeah. still walking to their cars right now, right at this hour, as I'm waking or yeah. as I'm getting ready to go to the gym. That's that's crazy. We yeah, I mean, I get it. <laughs> right, been there, done that. I get it. <laughs> Let's get the shake started. So. I do like, again, just racking it up to a pint and then drinking about half of it. And then the other half is what I make the shake with. I feel like a bartender at this point. Maybe not a bartender, but someone working some kind of job that involves making stuff and just having the muscle memory already at this point to be able to just pour and go. And I think that was everything. Looking a little light though. I didn't put the peanut butter. <laughs> what a gentleman. So my roommates, you know, while it's raining outside, he's telling his girl, I'm going to go grab the car for you, make sure it's outside so you're warm, nice and toasty, warm, nice and toasty ready to go. So nice. What a gentleman. The right, fellas, take notes, okay? Take notes. A happy wife is a happy life. <laughs> We'll cut off there, but I'll down the shake right now. And then <laughs> we'll get leg day started. Oh my goodness. What a morning. Uh, too cute. Too cute. 
That was more than usual, I feel like. Ooh. Okay. Let's get it. See y'all. Just a bit. Okay. I forgot my watch again. I left it on the charger. Oh, did you hear that? My knees just cracked. I tried stretching. But I guess I wasn't prepared for that. Well, the parking lot looked empty and I got excited. It, uh, it didn't exactly reflect the occupancy. <laughs> it's a little more packed, but nothing crazy. I was able to get on the cab races already, as well as the leg curls and one of the abductors. Whew. leg extensions. Hmm. I'm surprised this was available, actually. Because when I got here, this is one of the first machines that I checked. I was, I was, it was like there was three or four people waiting. I'm not sure what happened there, but You'd have to assume, right, if people are taking at least, on average, maybe like 10 to 15 minutes. There's four people waiting, that's a whole hour that you're probably not gonna see the machine go. But here we are. <laughs> Okay. I'll probably do one more of those and I'll get some water. And depending on what else is available first is where I will see y'all next. That seems like a pretty safe spot, I hope. <laughs> Let me just make that again. I feel like we finished our workouts fairly quickly.
after the leg extensions, I I got on the it's this other machine called like the hack squat machine. That felt pretty different. I, <laughs> I tried two plates at first. It wasn't a good idea. I gotta start small. So I dumbed it down to one plate on each side. And it still gave me a pretty good run for my money. Whew. We still have one of the abductor exercises and the sitting calf raises. I won't be able to do the glute presses because the machine's broken. So two more exercises after this one. I don't know which one I'm going to be able to film, though, most likely the sitting calf raises. I got one more in me for that. Oh. <laughs> it's almost like a, a real time or a quicker delayed onset of muscle soreness. Yeah, like it, it just hit me right now. Or it might have been from yesterday, maybe. Granted, I have been doing abs just about every day. Just about every day. Which is kind of crazy. Now that I think about it. <clears throat> that hurt. It was so painful I had to laugh. But I'm going <clears> to <throat> get some water. The sitting calf raises are taken, as well as the abductors. So we'll see. It might be a long water break. We shall see. We got lucky.
this is most likely the last set, both for the film and for the day. Well, not last set, but last movement. Three more sets. Stop slashing. Keep it straight back. That's a reminder to everyone else too. For those of you that are watching, you're slouching right now. You gotta straighten that back. And a good way to gauge if it's straightened or stretched back is to just turn your biceps or just turn your arms outward. And that feeling that you get with your shoulders is sort of what you're supposed to feel. One more of those. Ooh. I am totally looking forward to lunch today. The whole no meat thing yesterday, and I think only eating one dish is probably contributing to me feeling sort of low energy sluggish today. I called it, I called it too yesterday. I totally saw it coming. I'm gonna stretch a little bit and probably wash up. Grab some lunch, grab some, <laughs> grab some lunch, and then I'll see y'all at the house. Yeah. <laughs> and we are back home. I was able to get a burger for lunch with my cousin at this old diner, diner, <laughs> diner, at this old diner spot out in, I was about to say the city, but I'm not going to say the city. <laughs> but those burgers are probably, had the... Had the patties been a little thinner, I'd say comes pretty neck and neck with In-N-Out burgers in terms of taste, in terms of how crispy the lettuce is, 
the the spread that they use. The pickles could have used some work. But overall, I'd give it a... It was a pretty solid 8 out of 10. And right after that, I was supposed to record. But I... I guess they call it uh, carb comas. Because right after that, we went to go grab some dessert. I had an acai bowl with a lot of fruit, granola, honey, and peanut butter. And I'm pretty sure that was the straw that broke the horse's back. In terms of me just absolutely knocking out going to sleep but we were able to take a nap and that felt really really good but i do notice after naps is when it's almost like you have a fast forward button on your soreness because I don't think I'm ever more sore than when waking up from either sleeping, right, or from a nap. For some reason. All right. Let's get this going. So after this one that I'm about to make right now, we have one more to go. for the day and that should put us at around 200 hmm. looks a little light but So as I was saying earlier, or I don't know if it was earlier today or in one of my other videos, tomorrow I start the it's chest day again. And I think I'm going to deload this cycle where I'm not really going heavy. But I'm still going to be doing the same sets, going for the same amount of reps. But in terms of RIR, I'm probably going to be at a higher amount of probably like 8 to 10. So the, the weights are going to be a lot lighter than what I'm used to or what I've been doing these last couple of weeks. Just because I feel like my muscles are sort of desensitized or they're getting either desensitized or they're getting, I don't know, something's going on. <laughs> so something in my body is telling me that I need to give myself a break, but I don't want to give myself a break in, ter in terms of like not going to the gym or not working out. So I think I'm just going to go lighter on the weight. I'm not going to try to chase fatigue too much. I think I'm just going to try to get the motion in. Get some muscle stimulation just for this next cycle. It's not the end of the world. Remember, it's more important to not be injured. The best quality is availability. <laughs> That's what one of my homies who's an athlete told me. One of the best qualities in your career is availability. Or for him, as an athlete, so. I stand by that too.
I apologize. I didn't really take it like a shot like I usually do. I was mid-convo, or I was mid-subject, <laughs> or mid in discussion of talking about a certain thing. Ah, whatever. I'm going to go cut this off here, pop it on the PC, edit it out, and we'll upload it, and we'll start up again tomorrow. Hey.